video I was tagged by the beautiful Lalada and my darling thank you so much for tagging me in this video I am excited to take part I am honored so today I'm going to be sharing with you the fragrances that Lalada had recommended and these are all fragrances linked to different emotions and how they make you feel first mood I'm going to go into is cheerful now I was thinking about this and I like to think I am a cheerful person <laughs> So then that would be all of my fragrances. So I had to really pick one and if I want to feel or if I want to be put into a cheerful mood then I couldn't think of anything other than this lovely fragrance Dior. And this beautiful fragrance is actually um, the 2005 version to 2011. So the notes in here is slightly sweeter and I find this fragrance to be very playful sweet and floral and it just puts me in a good mood it sets the tone it's fun I find it free it's a fragrance I used to wear um, as a teenager and it sort of reminds me of that time carefree and having fun and you know this just sort of takes me back to that moment in time so I think if I had to choose and if I wanted to be put into a cheerful mood it would have to be Miss Dior this version has notes of pineapple, it has some caramel notes in here, some patchouli, some rose, very floral, very sweet at the same time. There's some strawberry in here. It's a beautiful, playful fragrance. So this is something I would wear <laughs> to put me in a cheerful mood. So that's my Miss Dior. Next fragrance I have is for when you feel reflective, would be something that is light and airy and fresh. It's my Galant and this is Bloom of Rose. Now I've chosen this fragrance because this is a very light, fresh, delicate floral. Um, it is sweet, it is a little bit green. Um, the rose petals in here, it's just so bright and clean and it's so joyful. <laughs> it's joyful and I think when you are being reflective, you need something that's quite light and not too heavy. And this is something I would wear. It's of Neroli in this fragrance and Bulgarian Rose. And this just smells like, it smells clear. It smells not too heavy, it smells light. And I think this would really set the tone for those moments of reflection. <laughs> so that's my Bloom of Rose. Fragrance I have to represent if I'm feeling down or if I'm feeling in a gloomy mood, this perfume would set the right tone for me. It would sort of take me out of that state. And the reason why is because this fragrance just smells like comfort. And I remember when I first bought this perfume, so I bought this fragrance at the beginning of the whole virus um, situation. and. Um, I had samples in the past, but I made this purchase maybe in March or April. And during that time, I would say definitely um, feeling a bit down, uncertain, definitely feeling gloomy. And this fragrance just um, sort of uplifted my mood. It felt like a blanket. And that's what I love about this fragrance. It's, it's soft. It's comforting. It smells like a beautiful cozy blanket or a cashmere jumper or sweater <laughs> and um, it just smells like comfort and it really takes you out of that gloomy mood so if I was feeling gloomy this is something I would reach for if I was feeling melancholy moments of sadness deep sadness I think I would reach for a fragrance that I always feel comfortable in. I would reach for something that is versatile and a fragrance that never really lets me down. And this would be a bit of a mood changer for me as well. So if I was feeling extremely sad, then I think I would reach for My Chance by Chanel. And this is just a go-to fragrance for me. It's one of my favorite scents. Also a fragrance house that I adore. If I was feeling sad, I would probably want to wear that fragrance more uh, or that fragrance house more. And um, I think it would have to be My Chance by Chanel. And um, this fragrance is rich in citrus. It's light, it's 
extremely sophisticated. It's the scent of a woman. And this is the fragrance I would wear to uplift my mood. If I was feeling whimsical, then the fragrance I would pick would be my Jo Malone's Poppy and Barley fragrance. Oh, this fragrance here. <laughs> it smells like, it smells soft. It smells like, oh, it just smells so dainty. It smells soft. It smells pretty. This fragrance is, this is definitely whimsical. It's light, it's it's free, it's girly, playful. It smells like you're wearing a white dress and you're just floating somewhere. <laughs> it just smells beautiful. It's very dainty and girly. And if I was feeling whimsical, if I wanted a fragrance to remind me of that, then it would be my Poppy and Bali. The next mood I have for you guys is romantic, feeling romantic or a fragrance that reminds you of romance and the fragrance I have here is a beautiful stunning fragrance, it's one of the fragrances I love by Guerlain and this is my Angelique Noir, I adore this fragrance, this is one of my date night fragrances, um, yeah this is a romantic <laughs> fragrance, um, guys love this perfume and it's just so warm and vanilla and creamy and oriental and it smells soft it smells feminine it smells pretty it has a deepness to it a little bit mysterious and i think that deepness is coming from the green of the notes that this fragrance has there are some notes of angelica in this perfume along with your um, beautiful creamy soft vanilla and vanilla is a fragrance to me that just symbolizes romance so i've chosen my angelique noir to represent if i'm feeling romantic or a perfume to give you that um that feel so that's my girl if i was feeling sexy the fragrance i would be wearing would have to be a tom ford fragrance guys <laughs> anyway i love tom ford <laughs> so it would have to be a tom ford fragrance and that would be my velvet orchid fragrance this gorgeous fragrance it projects well everyone knows okay this fragrance makes a statement this is so sexy if you wanted to feel like a bit sassy you know a bit of an attitude going on you know then this is the fragrance to wear this is just so rich intense it's intoxicating the rum notes in here the jasmine it's just bold and this is like a confident fragrance as well this would have to be my most sexiest fragrances and that's my velvet orchid so the next mood I have for you all is feeling fearful or feeling anxious and the fragrance I would have to reach for is my Burberry Her. This fragrance is sweet and fruity and if I felt fearful or anxious I would want something that isn't too serious, isn't too deep, too rich. I would something that's a bit more uplifting and free. Um, this is so light, it has an effervescence about it. Um, you get that sweet citrus notes in here, you have the strawberry note in here, and that just comforts you when you're feeling um, anxious and you need to be put at ease, then this is a fragrance I would wear. It has that calming note because it has like very familiar um, notes in here or it has a very familiar scent. That um, sweet strawberry note in here just reminds you of maybe like some ice cream or like a sweet dessert. And I would just find that comforting at moments of when I'm feeling anxious. So I've chosen my Burberry hair. And if I feel lonely, I would want something that would take me back to moments of when I'm not feeling lonely. <laughs> and um, a note I would um, connect to that sort of emotion or state of mind or, or feeling or mood it would be a coffee note <laughs> and the reason being is because if i was feeling lonely 
the opposite of that would be me being with some friends or me spending time with special people or a special person and it usually involves relaxing over coffee and conversations and um you know and then maybe enjoy some sweet desserts <laughs> as well after so i have chosen my intense cafe by montal and this fragrance is something else i oh. if i was feeling lonely like if i missed actually i have to say during lockdown that's the moment you do feel lonely so during lockdown i missed going out for coffees i missed it so much just going out for my lattes and cappuccinos my macchiatos i miss that i miss going out for you know sweet cream pies <laughs> and desserts it's terrible but it's true and um this is something i would do with my my family my mother my best friend um you're someone special um you know and this just smells like all of that. That whole experience is in this beautiful bottle here. You've got the sugary notes, you've got the brown sugar in here, you've got rose, you have vanilla, you have the coffee. This is, oh, I just love this perfume so much. And if I was feeling lonely, this is going to brighten up my day. It's gonna remind me about those moments with my friends, gossiping, laughing, being silly, being playful and um, it would definitely be this one. This is a gorgeous fragrance. That's my intense cafe. The next fragrance I have for you is Feeling Mysterious. Now, there's a fragrance that on my channel I always talk about that I just find so mysterious. <laughs> and there's a few actually, but I think this one really stands out. It's my Oud Satin Mood. To me, this is extremely mysterious. It is deep. It is dark but there's something loving about it something angelic about this fragrance definitely it smells expensive it smells like you have a story but you're not telling the whole story so oud satin mood would definitely be my top pick if i was feeling mysterious this fragrance smells like <laughs> a mystery because I feel like there's something more about this fragrance. You always want to go back for more. And I feel like it's not telling you everything. So it's a bit secretive, a bit mysterious, but ever so angelic at the same time. And um, very sexy. So that is my Oud Satin mood. I had so much fun filming today's video and I would like to tag the following people to take part in this wonderful tag that's been created by Lala Dark Beauty. So the people I'd like to tag, I have a list here and they are Gabriella Francesca, I'd like to tag Sheree Lewis, I would love to tag Erin Nicole TV, um, Fab Finds by Ketra, I would like to tag Perfume Lover 80, Karina Waldron, I would love to tag you, Dasa Scent, I would love to tag you also, and I would love to tag Mila LeBlanc, also, and Queen Khan. I hope I said all of those right. <laughs> so take part, I'll leave a link of everyone I've mentioned down below, and I hope to see you all soon in this new tag. So my darlings, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.